one of the things that is awesome is uh you know um and, and i i share this philosophy like right? you hire based on your values and and so you screen people based on your values and then if you've got the same thing for your, a mission a documented mission you can really screen opportunities uh based on your mission so you people with values and you know uh, opportunities with with a mission did you ever sort of write that down or make it plain for people or make it plain for yourself i did and actually we i wrote the values and i had to print them you know in big boards and they were all over the production area and when i did that aside from my hire questionnaire went from a couple pages to a booklet and people would initially complain that i've never had to and the, and the thing that i did is i learned that I could ask the values, questions about the values, but I would re-ask them in a different way. Yeah. And I found that the people that were not invested in, you know, they wanted you to hear. What you wanted to hear. At first, answered everything correctly, but then later, in, in that simple thing, our turnover was almost zero. And even the people that I work with, accountants and attorneys, they were baffled by the lowest t turnover. Mm -hmm. And the procedures and the steps that, because every day was a learning thing. Every day, you know, maybe you know, once a week or twice a week, one another sheet of paper was added into that manual, and everybody signed it, and everybody knew this thing happened. It's not going to happen again, you know. And so we kind of reviewed everything, and every was everybody was on the same page. Mm -hmm. We were learning together. That's amazing. What <clears throat> there's this thought that I have every once in a while and this is a vulnerable moment this is a thought <laughs> i have when i'm talking to you okay is i have this first thought and i was i was like there's in no way that this all of this actually happened right and then the next thought is i'm like it has to have happened i mean it's unbelievable it's unbelievable so i i have i find myself here with you where it's like how, how like what is what is your secret how is how what is the thing that's like um uh how un unbelievable is cut so common to you I think that the the biggest thing that that I can tell you is all, it, all, it all comes down to my why, why I do what I do, and bringing everybody together with that. If I am a hundred percent sure, and for me, the thing for my why was to come out of suffering to become something big, better than myself, something bigger, and be able to make a difference. I always had this thing when I was growing up in the orphanage, like I'm suffering, and I would look at the skies and I would like pray to God and say, I'm going to become something really huge and big and I'm going to inspire people and I'm going to inspire the kids in the orphanage. And so that was my motive. Mm -hmm. And so when you are so laser shot focused on that why, that goal, nothing is impossible. Resiliency, the fire that you have for doing the things that you do, the passion, where there seems to be no way, there's always a way. And and. It might not be right in front of you in the beginning, but it shows up. And the, the key here is you have to be uh, mindful to recognize when it shows up so you can take massive action immediately to make it happen. Mm. Because we miss our angels. We miss our opportunities mm -hmm. sometimes. Got to pay attention. Yeah. Right.